Hello everyone, welcome to Battle of the Beast All Generation episode number 109. I'm Adam and today we got two more beast fights out for one of the last spots in round two. Uh, in this episode we have uh, quite an interesting matchup between two beasts that have won their battles fair and square in round one. Quite easily, might I add. So, let's get into them, let's get into it and start revealing them. Representing series what no series nine. The warlock staff has to double check that one. We have the last beast stand of series nine, and one of the most popular beasts as well. We have Silver the Wild Terror, the killer of Claw the Giant Monkey back in round one. And his opponent, we have a beast from series nineteen. Maybe this beast might finally. <laughs> well, maybe this beast might be one of the f the first beasts from series nineteen to make it through to round three. The other two already died. <laughs> but anyway, series nineteen, the killer of Vizlak, the Slivering Serpent. I think in round one we have book one, Quag the Stone Dragon. Uh, so with Silver versus Quag, we got. An interesting match up here. A uh, very powerful large wolf, and it's a dragon made of stone. Uh, as for a battlefield, honestly, I do not know. Rocky terrain, because nowhere on the weaknesses does it say that silver has to be fought in a cold terrain, plus silver's been in a desert before, so he should be fine. Powers and ability, okay, no, stats first. Silver. In the land of Seraph, the evil wizard Marvel used the warlock's staff to turn Silver into a terrifying beast, many times his usual size. Age is 35, power 270, magic level 150, fright practice 95, size 237. Powers and abilities, natural weaponry, enhanced strength, canine manipulation, he can call and control wolves, and cold adaptation. Weaknesses is reversion. All right, all right, yeah, 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 that's a, uh, all right, yeah, let me just, uh, there you go, there, there's Quag, and Quag's abilities and power, and stats are, watch out for the stone dragon's blue eyes, they have the power to turn the questers to stone. Is it any wonder that Tom's enemy Beric tried to bend this beast to his will? Age 265, power 269, magic level 178, fright factor 92, size 259. Uh, abilities are flight, flame vision and petrification. He can shoot purple fire beams from his eyes, which encase whatever they hit to stone. Fire breath, don't need to explain that one, but it's hot enough to melt steel. Natural weaponry, enhanced strength, and enhanced durability. Weakness, petrification, weakness. Quag isn't immune to his own petrification power, though he can he escape from it without aid. And, and enchantments. Okay. So with that, Silver versus Quag. We're going to do the nice rocky terrain arena. And with that, let's get into the fight. So as the chamber doors open, Quag bursts out of the sky exit and shoots a ball of fire into the chamber, igniting the entire chamber in a ball of flame, causing flames to spit out of the main chamber door and the sky exit. Uh, for Silver to see as he makes his way out of his chamber, just seeing that and seeing the silhouette of Quag looking down into the arena, roaring into it. Silver is unfazed by this and charges right up towards Quag and jumps to get on top of the hit of Quag's chamber. Quag sees that and with his tail just slash, uh, slaps Silver away. The tail doesn't seem to do much though, but Quag just backhands Silver by the muzzle with his uh, talon, causing Silver to fall backwards, but he still lands on his feet and goes to charge up again. Quag shoots a fire breath directly towards Silver. Silver is able to dodge out of the way and jump up towards Quag. Quag extends his wings and takes off in into the sky. Silver is able to latch onto Quag's tail and just biting on it, trying to make climb his way up as Silver 
climb his way up a quag's tail. Quag starts spinning his entire body round, trying to shake Silver off, but Silver's grip is staying strong, just digging his claws into the stony flesh of a quag, just making his way up, and Silver just growling the entire time. Quag gets fed up with this, and then what he does is that he just nose dive straight towards the ground, just straight up towards the ground. Right before he's about to hit the ground, he turns around and slams his tail into the ground, slamming Silver into the ground. That is enough to let Silver make Silver let go. Quag then immediately gets back to where he was. And with his stony gaze, he stares at Silver as purple fire beams shoot out of his eyes. Silver sees that coming, jumps out of the way to see where he once stood, had the small amount of grass that was left there turned to stone. Silver realises if he gets caught in that, he may not be coming out. Silver sees more beams coming his way, he jumps out of the way evil each time getting closer and closer towards Quag and jumps up to attack Quag. Quag decides to lift up his talent to slash as a silver, but silver uses his claw to slash back. They clash together and silver barrels right into Quag, knocking them both down into Quag's chamber. Quag shoots out a ball of fire, igniting the entire chamber and was and Quag being immune to the fire because he's made of stone, can hear Silver howling in pain as his fur is just burning away. Silver tries to get away, but this time Quag's not letting him get away. He's staying near him, like Silver always wanted. He grabs Silver by the hind legs with his front claws and starts flying away, pulling Silver up out of the fire. The spectators can see Quag pulling Silver up, seeing Silver's fur horribly burnt off and his flesh starting to roast. They're starting to feel bad for what was one of the most bravest wolves to have ever been seen in Avantia. Quag showing absolutely no mercy to this wolf who's disturbed his slumber. Flies up to as high as he can and rolls his entire body forward. And then as when he's about to do a full 360 in the air, lets go of Silver and slap and is just full on chucks him down to the ground, pushing down, uh, breathing out fire right after Silver. Silver feels the wind just pushing right past him as he's plummeting towards the ground and sees a giant ball of fire making its way to him. Silver can't seem to find any way to get out of this. And just accepts his fate as he gets slammed into the ground as a dust cloud assumes and expects to see a fireball enter that dust cloud exactly where Silver was. Silver can do nothing but only just howl in agony as he sees uh, the flames just engulf the dust cloud and then disperse, seeing a very, very badly wounded Silver just lying there. Quag then gets down to on top of his chamber and shoots in the purple fire beam directly towards Silver, turning him to stone. And Quag makes his way up to the stone statue of Silver, picks it up again with all his talons, goes as high as he can, and slams it down to the ground, shattering it immediately. Qua Silver is unresponsive and is nothing more than a corpse. Quag, satisfied with his overkill of a victory, makes his way back to his chamber, proud to know that Series 19 lives on. So with that, Quag wins Silver's loss. If you think Silver should won, please don't comment below I think that. However, my word's final and Quag's moving on to the next round. Now, believe me when I say, I prefer Silver over Quag any day of the week. But I can't see Silver winning. Because Quag has a size advantage. He may not have the agile advantage, but when it comes to wings, fire, stone gaze, and not to mention, he's made of stone. What can Silver do? So, I like Silver, but I can't see him winning. Uh, so, with that, I'm sorry, Lucas. 
but Silver is dead and Series 9 has been eliminated from the tournament. So, yeah. I generally can't see Silver winning. And it sucks, because I would have loved to see Silver make it further in the co- in the tournament, but unfortunately, it's not meant to be. So with that, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification right down in the corner below, and I'll see you next time.